In my last video, I covered Tyreback Zumishbeck's dominant performance at the Bill Farrell, where we saw him hit a variation of the front Uchimata on numerous occasions. In this video, we'll take a closer look at that move. The front Uchimata is commonly employed by Mongolian combat athletes who use it in freestyle wrestling, judo, sumo, and especially in Mongolian folk wrestling. The move involves lifting an opponent off their feet and using a leg to help elevate and rotate the opponent's hips. A few important elements of the move. First are the grips. The thrower will need to obtain grips to facilitate the lift and rotation. The specific grips will depend on the sport. For instance, in sumo, judo, and Mongolian wrestling, the thrower will typically have at least one grip on the belt or briefs. In freestyle wrestling, the preferred grip is typically a body lock. Once the grips are obtained, the next element is the hip load up. For this, the thrower will bring their hips close to the opponent's hips, win the inside position with their inside hip, and use their grips plus hip extension to load the opponent's hips and lift them off their feet. Depending on the throw, the thrower may use the thigh of their inside leg to assist with the hip load up, or they may load the hips without assistance from the leg. In any event, once the hips are loaded and the opponent is lifted off their feet, the third element will be for the thrower to use her inside thigh to elevate the opponent's inside thigh. This will rotate the opponent's hips and in turn help rotate them to their back. Let's pause there because I know what some of you might be thinking. No, it won't smash the opponent's nuts so long as you are elevating the thigh, which in addition to not inflicting pain on your opponent, provides better leverage to rotate their hips. The last element is the pivot. This typically occurs simultaneously with the inside thigh elevation and involves the thrower pivoting away from the direction of the thigh elevation, similar to how you would do on a conventional uchimata or really any twisting throw. The pivot is both a change of direction and a contortion of the head and torso. The pivot increases the effectiveness of the inside thigh elevation and thus causes more hip rotation and also helps rotate the opponent's upper body so that both the opponent's hips and upper body are pulled into a horizontal position. Now let's take a closer look at some examples of the front Uchimata to see how these four elements, the grip, the hip load, the thigh elevation, and the pivot are applied. This first one is by Narmandak from Mongolia at the 2022 World Championships. Narmandak transitions from a double leg to a body lock and brings his hips in for the hip load up, which lifts the opponent off both feet. With his right hip inside, Narmandak uses his right thigh to elevate the opponent's left thigh while simultaneously pivoting to his left. Note the angle change of the foot. Also note the contortion of Narmandak's head and torso down into the left, which rotates the opponent out of his upright posture and forces all of his weight onto his right leg where he can be easily off balanced. Depending on factors like the degree of hip elevation and rotation, as well as the opponent's height, forcing them onto one leg in this standing split type position is where the throw is often finished from. Here's one from our guy, Zumishbeck. Seatbelt underhook with his right arm, punches his left arm inside to cinch the body lock, immediately steps in. To see the full breakdown, you'll need to become a member through Patreon or YouTube memberships. 